Hello everyone, today I'm responding to a question um, under one of my videos here uh, from Cindy. So Cindy is asking me um, if we can combine the um, macro code for the save sheets as multiple files with the center draft uh, multiple outlook email with attachment into one. Um, so as a refresher, um, here is the other widow that uh, she's referring to. Um, I have both widows in my playlist of everything about splitting a master file, and uh, you can find out more details of um, many other tricks there as well. Uh, but then, just as a summary, uh, summary what Cindy um, is hoping to, to do here is actually, let's say we have a a spreadsheet uh, with multiple tabs, as you can see here. We want to have a code, um, some kind of code that separates them into multiple files, like you see here. And then when we have them as multiple files, we want to be able to do it as um, in this video of send or draft multiple Outlook email with attachments, uh, where we can uh, attach the files to the email and then we can draft the email and then send them to different people. Um, so this is something that I will focus today. Um, and I have already got the code uh, ready for you. So um, in a large part, you can, um, you can definitely go back to refresh the codes that I have pasted um, under each of my videos. Um, and you can see from the combined code that um, it is largely the same um, as the other two, but then I did make a couple changes and I'm going to highlight it here. Um, so just to show you like the, the actual combined code uh, looks like this. And I just want to show you in red where I may change. So first, um, I added them for like one step. So our first three steps are we have all those tabs and then let's save them into, let's say this, um, this folder. And then the, the next step is that now we have all the folder uh, files, uh, let's save them to Outlook. Um, so the first part is always de uh, definition. And um, if you copy both codes, you might note that some, um, some lines are duplicates, like dim pass as string. I have that in both codes. So you have to get rid of one so that it's unique. Uh, I did add another one uh, because in, um, in the in the two files, if you lo look at the code I have for uh, this, you will note that I also have cell um, refers to different. I also have cell referring to uh, no. Actually, if we look at uh, yeah, if we just look at the macro code for like send email and files from Outlook, you can see I define cell as range, which is um, in this case, the email address. But then in my combined code, uh, the cell can also refer to uh, the split code, like the department. So you, you want to differentiate them by naming them differently, like one as cell and the other one maybe as email. And then all those you can copy, they should be the same. Uh, you just need to adjust, um, still make sure your split code is um, aligned with your email address. Uh, that part, we didn't make any change. And then here is, um, you need to change all the reference that was original cell to email like that. So that uh, when we refer to email, uh, they actually know it's, um, in this range. And then also note actually here, um, I changed the sheet name because now I have both files combined. And then you see like, for example, in this, I have this sheet. Now I have them in combination. So I add um, another sheet of called email address um, to have this here. And then I have so that in my code, I can refer to in sheets, still in the same active file, uh, sheets email address. 
um, and then just make sure you loop for the next email and then end. Um, you can choose send or save. I um, I would uh, usually if you don't have a large quality uh, quantity of emails, like I would say, I would recommend save so you can put them in your um, outbox and then double check your email before you hit send. So yeah, so basically this is how uh, the combined code looks. And then the, I'm going to show you how it's going to work. Okay, so now we have the codes ready and then we can try to run it in reality. So after I run it, uh, if the code runs successfully, we should see uh, the files popping up here uh, by department. And then we can also see the email drafts popping up here. Um, and then you can check them one by one. So let's now hit run. Yeah, here we go. So you can see that the files by departments are here. Uh, you can open them to see if they are marketing. Yes, they're good. Um, and then you can also come here to your Outlook to see, okay, let's say marketing. Is that the person you want to send it to? Does the content looks fine? and then open the attachment, uh, open the attachment to see protected view to see if it's marketing. Yeah, it's marketing. So that's good. And then you can go send. Okay. So that is how you can, um, do both the save as separate files and email with one click. And, uh, Cindy, I hope this is helpful to you in the here um, and I as always I'll post the codes in the uh, uh, description as well and uh, I have I will also add it to my playlist about splitting a master file and uh, I hope this video will be helpful to you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you like it if you have any question please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon